An uninterruptible power supply is one of the most important investments you can make for your home's electronic equipment. Hi, it's Zach with Cable Wholesale. In today's video, I want to cover some basic information relating to uninterruptible power supplies, or UPSs. Please see the description below for a link to an in-depth blog we have written with more specific technical information on choosing the right UPS for your setup. Here is what we will be covering in today's video. What is a UPS? What are some limitations? And an overview of UPS offered by Cable Wholesale. What is a UPS? There are many manufacturers and types of UPSs on the market today. Regardless of the manufacturer, the basic purpose of a UPS is the same. It provides protection from power-related issues that can damage your devices and their data. Power-related issues can include blackouts, brownouts, spikes, dips, and surges. In most cases, a UPS will offer both surge protection and backup power to the devices connected. A properly specced UPS will provide you the opportunity to save your work and safely power down your equipment without damaging the device or corrupting data. Computers, digital video recorders for both TV and security, as well as network attached storage boxes are some of the examples of devices that warrant a UPS. Not only are they typically rather expensive, but they often hold irreplaceable data that is regularly being written and accessed, introducing a greater opportunity for failure. What are some limitations? I used the term backup power earlier. A UPS is not intended to power devices or systems indefinitely. The UPS's job is to provide enough power, typically 15 to 30 minutes, to save work and safely shut down devices. There are also devices that you might have in a home or office environment that should not be connected to a UPS. Laser printers and shredders are just two examples of devices that should not be plugged into a UPS. These devices have higher power demands for brief periods of time that will overload and possibly damage the UPS. These devices can also damage surge protectors that are not adequately specced. Let's take a look at one of our UPS products. I just want to take a few moments to show you some of the features on a UPS. Let's take a look at one of our Vesta Pro UPSs we offer. Our Vesta Pro lineup comes in 600, 1000, and 2000 volt amp models. Look in the description below for more information on choosing the right UPS for your needs. This is a Line Interactive UPS. We have eight outlets on the back of the unit. The bottom row of four outlets offer both surge and backup power to the devices connected. This top row of outlets provides surge protection to the devices connected. Here is the circuit breaker which provides overload protection. This USB type B port is used to allow connection and communication between your computer and the UPS. The UPS communicates its status to the Power Guide software. Simply download the available software and set up your preferences. Here you have two RJ45 ports, an in and an out. These communication ports will protect any standard modem, fax, telephone line, or network cable. The UPS comes with a 20 amp power plug. It also comes with a 15 amp adapter. This is the power button to turn the UPS on and off. There's an LED that is lit when the UPS is working. The LCD display will show the UPS status, including input voltage, output voltage, and percentage of load and battery. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to look in the description below to find a link to a blog with more information on technical specs and help determining the right UPS for you. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Have a great day.